Hey everybody, this is Rido and we're back tonight. So, according to the Steam page, there is supposed to be an infinite number of procedurally generated puzzles. So, either that hasn't unlocked yet, and that's what this button is, or the server has gone down, which is also kind of believable. Uh, either way, I don't think that's too much of a problem it, it certainly sucks and it is an indicator of why games should have their on online components backed up somewhere uh, and there are far far too many games that have servers shut down and then they are completely unplayable or severely damaged even from just a general historical perspective uh, but we shall see what goes on with this one as we will more than likely finish all the puzzles relatively quickly here I, I, I doubt it's going to be too much of a challenge Let's see. need to get one piece of the puzzle circled around and that's kind of it uh, in peg for example I believe the infinitely procedural online um, randomly generated a uh, procedurally generated randomly generated basically mean the same in this instance other than the fact that all the puzzles if they're procedurally generated or actually solvable, where randomly generated would not guarantee that. Um, turns out that the developer here is actually in based out of Mexico, which is weird, certainly, but okay. It, and I guess there's not really too much to say about that otherwise. There's really not too much to say more about this. This is a single screen Unity game. I may have called it a single screen Unreal game. Uh, if I did, that's just because I get Unreal and Unity mixed up. Unreal, you can actually recognize because uh, a game like Borderlands 2, there's something that's a first person shooter that has uh, the screen edges get bloody, uh, typically is an Unreal engine game or something at least trying to emulate that uh, or maybe a crisis engine game but less likely in that instance uh, whereas unity tends to while unity actually could make a first person shooter it tends to not be used for that it tends to be more other styles of games more cartoony looking games platformers running jumpers a lot of uh, very low effort games are made in Unity because of its easy licenses and slightly easier to program interface but mostly it's it's because of Unity's storefront that sells assets that then asset flippers can buy and and make something that looks a lot better than it should and try and sell for a lot more than it should sell as. Uh, it's gotten increasingly worse as far as asset flips on Steam to the point where you can look at a game and see that it actually is rather visually appealing and it only has the slightest tinge of, of oddness because you'll have say one wall texture that just looks completely different from another wall texture or you'll have characters that don't seem like they could possibly have been animated by the same an artist or uh, been designed for the same game um, and generally asset flippers tend to, to either make walking simulators or horror games or uh, first person shooters I need this out of the way hmm. 
got the music playing. If this game was a lot longer, I could see myself getting annoyed with the music. Uh, it has almost what you would want, but it, it does have some points where it gets a little too loud. out of the way which means I need this out of the way let's see hmm. <laughs> feel like I'm going in circles here because I am um, so this piece could be landed on from here and nothing else so, I've got to move this one there, this one there, that one needs to be out of the way. There we go. These puzzles are getting more complicated. Here we have another one of these, um, more symmetric puzzles. Allegedly, according to the game description, all of these puzzles are handcrafted, so there's a level of specificity, I guess. Level of care was put into creating these levels. Um, generally speaking, I'd say handcrafting levels should be a secondary step uh, in developing things. For instance, The Witcher 3's open world was probably procedurally generated and then that procedurally generated map was then tweaked by artists for six months afterwards and that, that helps save that initial step and put some randomness in the development that you might not have. Um, it, it probably is a waste of a level designer's time to hand place every single tree and every single rock unless the trees and the rocks are placed in a very specific artistic pattern for a very specific artistic reason. Which often that's not the case. Often level design in video games is just there to waste the player's time and make them feel like they the the game they paid probably too much for was worth how much they paid. I am down to one piece, but because I'm down to one piece, I I'm in a bad position. I have to find a way to open up a second path. There we go. Now if I can just get back to where I was, it, that'll be solved. And that almost felt like a, a regular layout of a puzzle of a chessboard. Right, so, gotta get the ones out of the way and the red ones in the place they belong put that there hmm go in circles I think I'm probably making it a little bit worse. If I put that one there, and then that there, and that there, and 
and put that in that position. This Let's put it in the wrong position, put this in that position, see if we can get this in the right position, see if we can swap some things around. Still, only have one place that this can go. That goes there. And then it has to go back this direction and back that direction. And this will get me down to just one. Congratulations on clearing most of the levels on the Bishop level pack, Queen level pack now available. So clearly there's going to be a, a king level pack too. I feel like this is a much better implementation than Peg. Peg gave far too many levels. Uh, and since Peg came out, it's not like this developer's released anything else. So uh, he probably over delivered and could have come out with a Peg 2. There certainly people on steam that will make a game like peg and then they'll make peg 2 and they'll make peg 3 and they'll release them on almost a weekly basis and for the most part nobody gets in trouble for doing that either for flooding steam with just the same games being repackaged steam and valve have gotten a little bit better about catching people for doing that but only very recently uh, there was certainly a series called a maze just a m a z e that has for a long time gotten away with repackaging and reselling a extremely similar versions of its of the same game a very simplistic game in the first place you have no options whatsoever with this. I need this one to be out. There we go. Now that was an easy to find solution. And uh, there are other developers that aren't quite so fishy, no pun intended, such as Big Fish Games that puts out a quote-unquote collector's edition of a hidden object game every every week or so, every two weeks on Steam, um, which are different games. They just happen to be all rather generic hidden object games that they sell as collector's editions for $12.99. Uh, brand new which is quite a lot to ask for a hidden object game hmm. let's see another one solved and this seems like a puzzle we had already done so I guess the only difference now is instead of getting the pieces to the edge we might have to get the pieces to the edge and then uh, and then adjust a little bit later Let's see if we can that that and that that and that and that and that I'll just keep it moderately easy Okay. Trying to keep this 
not too crazy. This could get crazy, certainly. Okay, so we've got it down to just two. So put that there and that there. Then that doesn't change anything. So put that there and then that there. It really doesn't change anything until I get to that. Now I'm down to one. So. Still not where I'd want to be. Hmm. I've got to make room for this piece. And then I've got to kind of constantly make room for this one piece. Hmm. However it goes. So if it, if I could get this piece to that spot, just by going in circles, hmm. well, before I do that, let me double check that that's where I want to go. I don't think it is. Put a piece here, or I can put a piece here. I can put a piece. This piece actually doesn't seem like it has a place to go either way. Hmm. I need this one out of the way for a second, then I can put it back. There we go. And I believe this will be the last of the bishop pack. It's hard to really criticize individual puzzles that are this simplistic. Um, what what I need as a video game critic, or at least what I think I need, is scenes and story, even if it's story just through actions that take place and not through dialogue, uh, something that I could see a different scenario happening that in some way my subjective opinion would feel like is a better depiction. Uh, if you literally put a puzzle in front of me, like a jigsaw puzzle, and it's solved one way, it's not in my head particularly any more valid to solve a jigsaw puzzle one way than having a different jigsaw puzzle that was solved a different way because the pieces were cut in slightly different shapes. Um, what would what I could criticize is if you put a jigsaw puzzle in front of me and it was say a picture of a cat and the story in the game was telling a story throughout its overall themes of a story about a dog then I could say, well, why is that puzzle a picture of a cat instead of a dog? Wouldn't it make more sense to have made it a dog? Um, but since you don't have this, since this is such a simplistic and basic game, um, there's really nothing to say here. The, the thing I can criticize, though, is if you're going to make a game called Knights, why not make a game called Pawns? or bishops or queens why not try to spin that into a whole series of 99 cent things kings um the, that uh, since you succeeded in making one game like this why not take it further and make another uh, you could probably have slightly different 
different puzzles for each of those types of pieces. In a way, Peg is pawns. It, they, they move almost exactly the same. It would just be a slight visual change and a slight rule change. If you were to bring in bishops uh, who only go diagonally, that makes it a, a different game. If you bring in queens that can move in all directions, or rooks that can go horizontally or vertically, that makes it slightly different. If you bring in kings, um, I, you, you're going to get slightly more complicated making a king's style game like this because kings can only move in one direction but you could probably still do it um, you might have to change it and then why not after having spent the time to to make your uh, magnum opus series of chess pieces why not come out with a real chess game there's actually a surprisingly small amount of of chess games on Steam, and even smaller amount of ones that are good. Uh, Tabletop Simulator tends to be the right solution, regardless of what the question is for any kind of board game. Um, and there certainly have been some VR attempts at chess pieces and some other things. That have been attempted but uh, as far as chess games but not a lot of success in those fields so I can get a piece down here I need this piece to make it over here one feels a little bit more complicated hmm. Hmm. hmm yeah I'm dangerously approaching the point of resetting and which one by the way resets um, I guess this goes back one step, this goes forward one step, and this resets the whole thing. Alright, there might have been an achievement for using each one of those at least once. So this can go here, this can go there, this can go here and here. This, this really might have been a puzzle that was just easier to solve. from the beginning and I made it worse. Let's put that there. Put that there. Put that one there. And now it's only a matter of getting this piece to be that piece and this piece to be there so I've got to move this out of the way until we can find some different options Options seem very good. So who's the odd man out? I guess it's that piece. Okay. So if I get that there. Then 
this piece doesn't go anywhere. Ever so close. Just need that one piece there. Ah. Got it. Lucked into it. We've hit that level where uh, it's more about persistence more than it is just figuring out the solution. So the Queen's Pack is 20 puzzles and that makes me guess there's probably less than 40, maybe 40 at max. Seems like there's going to be some strategy to bring a piece that way. Otherwise, I'm thinking it might be cool to just swap everything otherwise like this. Super easy. Or maybe not so super easy, but sorta of easy? Kinda easy? Maybe easy if you're if you're really really nice. There we go. Only a slight change here in where you can move. So if I just some things out of the way. So we're going to have to find some maneuverability and find some more free spots to be. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just getting in the way of myself. one issue hmm. Hmm. I don't think I want to move things that are already in place out of place I, mean, I could do that and that because that helps slightly. Could do that and that, and I guess that helps slightly. And then I could put that there. And that doesn't doesn't do anything, but this should. There and there. Are getting more complicated, and weirdly, they've introduced a third color, which you would have thought that that would have been introduced a lot earlier. It is a little odd, too, that they went with a green, and, well, slightly yellowish green, blue, and, and red color scheme instead of the standard black and white color scheme that you have in chess that would be more traditional and certainly you could have gone for a 3d uh, visual instead of a flat 2d although it works perfectly fine as a flat 2d hmm. so I'm guessing what happens here is we're gonna have to favor one side completely get one color all in place and then very 
potentially remove this middle section. This could add a little bit of challenge, or, you know, it could actually not do too much different. You might very well not even try to move the green too much and just leave them alone. Since now you have this collection of pieces that don't matter where they end up, you're, you're in a different position. find a way where to put pieces where I want them. Hmm. Of course I could certainly be doing the wrong thing too. I could, I could definitely move something or be focused around the greens when they don't matter. Hmm. Okay, so we now need to could just get rid of this one piece which I guess I can do by moving that out of the way yeah you can really leave the board a mess with these green pieces and they, they don't matter just of course within with this puzzle immediately there's way too many of them filling up everything Generally speaking, I think it's still the same concept. Just get the important pieces where they go. If you have to move something else out of the way, so be it. More and more, it's starting to feel like a, there's a lot of clicking going on. Just to see what the options are instead of knowing what the options are. Uh, if this was halfway through the game, I would have felt like the introduction introduction of the green points, uh, the green pieces, would have been a turning point to make the game more complicated, but it, it feels like it's so late into the game that it's probably too little too late. This one is quite the complicated one. There we go. Almost there. Just a lot of moving th of things around. Let's see. We need. I 
think I need to clear off this path first. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm doing anything by a con by moving those pieces, but we get rid of them. Need to open up a pathway which could either be here. There we go. And here. Need this piece here and this piece there. And this green piece has nowhere to go. If I put a piece there, then this piece can go there and there. This can still only really go that way. This can go here and here. This can go here and here. So we've got two pieces that are kind of backwards. So if, maybe if I move this blue piece here, and then there, and then that there, and then that to that. Now I only have one piece that needs to move. Hmm. And I still feel like, yeah. still only one piece to move. Moving this back this direction doesn't seem like it would solve anything. Hmm. How close are we? We solved it. I didn't even realize I was that that close to it. Okay, so that leaves us with 15 more of the Queen's level of packs of puzzles to do. We've done another 30 minutes and at most it would be 40, but in reality if 3 was added here and then 4 were added here and then 4 were added here, you're talking probably 25 puzzles plus the 15 here which the game has certainly now started to get a little bit more complicated and a little bit longer so I wouldn't be surprised if there actually is another hour of gameplay to do uh, right now though my evaluation is this is probably a game that I will be able to 100% unless there's an achievement which it probably is for doing an online thing that may or may not unlock we'll just have to wait and see probably will if i was to guess that's going to be it for this recording as always i ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend or follow me on any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description box and if you want to support me even further you can friend me on steam and give me a game or a gift card or support me via P patreon Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.